All right, Shalom, Shalom. All right, before I begin, let me start out by giving all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach them the course where I learned this truth. Peace and salutations to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, the elect, the house of David. All right, uh, today is October the 10th, year 2023. The hopeful year, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly and some willfully call God and Jesus Christ. All right, or uh, as, the, as, as the latest two names, we've uh, heard these two bug guys come out and say, uh, what that nigga said something about, I can't even remember exactly what he said, Grand Pumba or some shit. <clears throat> the, uh, them them, them, them uh, spiritual life lessons individuals, all right, you know, uh, bugged out, all right, you know. I just saw that before I came up here, you know, that was, that was crazy, all right. So only that Yahweh Shem was shy, all right, is a, um, a terrible power, you know what I'm saying, um, to, to have an individual on the, 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 I think he was an elder, all right, do what he did, you know what I'm saying, for, for as long as he did it, and now he's, you know, saying the things that he's saying now, all right, it's, it's, it's something, it's something to see, all right, and it's something to, to, to um to fear, all right, you know, to keep to, you know, use for yourself to keep yourself on point, all right, because you could be bugged out like like them individuals, all right, and be just cast into utter darkness, all right. But um, you know, today again being October the tenth, the hopeful year, y'all about to me, I was bringing all the prophecies to pass, and we're seeing some um some major segues to to to, to the prophecies coming out, right um. Primarily, the thing that's going down over there in the Middle East right now, pertaining to Israel, all right, um, and um, Hamas, all right, as they they've invaded Israel a couple of days back, all right, and you know what I'm saying? They fucked some of the Amalekites up, all right, and now you got Israel ready to go into um Gaza, all right, and um return the favor, all right, and that's gonna bring in a whole lot of the the heavyweights, all right, you know these are the "Quote unquote." Um, these are the these are the things that's gonna lead up to the big war. All right, these are just the small. You know what I'm saying? If you want to consider them small, but these are just the, the small things that's gonna lead up to the big things. All right, because y'all about smell shy is bringing that spirit back into the earth. All right, this is Joel chapter three, starting at verse one. It says, "For behold, in those days and." In that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, all right, and it's meaning to turn back, all right, um, our captivity, all right, and then to say Judah and Jerusalem, that's talking about Judah being the so-called Negroes, Haitian, and Jamaicans, all right, and Jerusalem being the northern kingdom, all right, from Ephraim on down to uh, Zebulon, all right, you know. Uh, verse 2, it say, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down unto the valley of Yahweh Shepai, all right. Jehoshaphat, Yahweh Shepai, meaning Yahweh's judgment, and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. All right, and that's what you're seeing. All right, America's already sent their big warships out that way. All right, toward the Persian Gulf. All right, you know they 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 getting ready. All right, um, you know you already had a big a big um a big uh, uh a lot of the american military already in this, on that side of the world anyway cuz you know the shit that's going down with um china and, and uh taiwan so you had a uh, you had some of the american military already out there so you know it ain't man they got some more going out there now so you know but again nuclear war let me say this nuclear war all right it's not going to take place until the implementation of the mark mark of the beast all right, which is the RFID microchip, all right? No nuclear weapons are going to fly, all right, until that, that MOTB has been, all right, uh, declared and enforced on the people, all right, you know? And a lot of the people are going to take it, all right? Now, you could have some missiles fly, but there ain't going to be no nuclear missiles, all right? Ain't no, ain't no lands getting obliterated and destroyed and all that shit, all right, at this time, all right, especially America. All right, America is going to be a part of this this own uh, coming judgment. All right, America has it, it, to be to be honest with you. America has the biggest of the said judgment coming to to, to it. All right, you know the Lord coming to burn America up. All right, 
and the scriptures speak about the least of the flock drawing them out. All right, Amalek, all right, is going to draw out America, all right, and America is going to go to war, go to war for Israel, all right, and um, at the end of it, uh, America and Israel both are going to be devastated, all right, obliterated, all right, so staying in Joel 3, all right, let me see, let's jump down to verse 9, it says, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war. Wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Beat your plow beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears, let the weak say I am strong. Alright, and that's what these other nations are doing, alright? You know what I'm saying? They say uh they're gonna beat their plowshares into swords, alright? The scriptures talk about when, when the true people of Yahbashmel Shai alright or are established and put into the, the holy land, the nations are gonna learn war no more. Alright. But as we can see, that's clearly not the case. All right, um, the, the war drums are beating as we speak. All right, World War Three is ratcheting it up. All right, and uh, you know, we will be there soon, Lord willing. All right, and either by the end of this year or um, early next year. All right, and uh, things aren't gonna go back to being normal. All right, this uh time that we're coming into known as Jacob's trouble, that's gonna be the new normal. All right, you know, this is going to be, uh, as the scripture describe them, um, labor pains, all right, you know, just after another, after another, after another, after another, all right, and it's coming over here to America, all right, don't think just because, um, you know, uh, the war isn't right now taking place, you know, in, in front of you that it's not going to take place in front of you, all right, because America's going to get... Man, America has the worst judgment known to mankind, all right? You know, this place is going to get, it's going to get done worse than ancient Egypt, all right? The Lord is going to plague this place worse than he did ancient Egypt, all right? And it starts with the northern army being uh removed, moved, removed, all right? And that's 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 been happening, all right? The, the American troops are, are being, you know, going to the, the Middle East, all right? It's already a shortage in troops as well, all right, so it ain't that many troops, all right, you know, Esau done already had his Trojan horse event, you know, through the, um, through the, uh, immigration and all those different, uh, different things that he, that he does, you know, behind the scenes, all right, hey, the foreign troops is here, all right, you know, America is gonna go, gonna go through it, all right, you know. You American citizens gonna, gonna, gonna catch hell the same way them, them, them Israelis was getting put to flight. All right, and them bitches, them women was getting snatched up and shit. All right, the same thing coming to you American citizens and American women. All right, the same judgment. All right, but worse. All right, so going back to that Joel 3, uh, verse 11, it says, Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Tither caused thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord, you how about Samuel was shy? All right, when they say heathen, that's talking about all the other nations, all right? Because that's what they that's what the Lord called the nations. He calls them heathens, all right? If you ain't an Israelite, you're a heathen, all right? Uh, verse 12, it says, Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round the belt, all right? It say, put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get ye down, for the press is full. The fats overflow, for their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord, Yahweh is near in the valley of decision. All right? And uh, the Lord going <clears> to <throat> uh, come back, going to crack them clouds, all right? And all them armies, all right? They're going to be fighting each other at the time when, when Yahweh comes back on the scene. All right? Because... The RFID microchip will already be made mandatory and be and will be enforced by that time. All right, you know, what I'm saying um, nukes are gonna be flying. You know, it's gonna be World War Three. All right, fighter jets in the sky, all of that. All right, and that's when Yahweh Shah is gonna make his grand reentry to this earth. All right, and all their militaries are gonna stop fighting each other. All right, and they're gonna try to fight. You know, what I'm saying the Lord. All right, and His holy host of chariots. All right, the armies of heaven. All right, and they're gonna lose. That being the, uh, the the heathen nations, they're gonna lose. All right, you know, 
Yahweh Shai and the holy host of angels are going to obliterate all of the armies of the world. All right. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures say the Lord is going to put their crowns on. All right. The scriptures tell you how the Lord is a man of war. All right. And he's coming back to make war with these heathens. All right. And he's going to destroy them. It ain't even going to take him a long time. All right. Uh, the scriptures say it's going to take one hour. All right. One hour for Yahweh Shai to, you know what I'm saying, destroy America and, you know what I'm saying, get these other military armies. All right, out the way. All right, one hour. All right. Let me see verse 15. It says, The sun and moon shall be darkened, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. All right. It says, uh, The Lord, Yahweh Shemiah, shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem. All right, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. All right, and the biggest bulk, all right, of Jerusalem is right here in Babylon the Great. All right, where it says, um, Judah and Israel will press together. And all that held him fast, refused to let them go. All right. So um, let me continue that and say, um, the Lord shall roar out of Zion and utter His voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and earth shall shake. But the Lord Yahweh Bashemah will be the hope of His people and the strength of the children of Israel. All right, and that's the elect on this side. All right. You know when the Lord starts roaring. All right, because the scripture speak about when the Lord, when Yahweh shall come back, he's going to let out that battle cry. All right, it's uh, Isaiah 42, when, it, when the Lord said, I have long time holding my peace and, and been still and refrain myself. Now will I travail like a crying woman. All right, so Yahweh Shah is going to let out a scream or a battle cry. All right, because he's going to get to come down and, you know, do what he's been wanting to do for the last, you know, uh, 2,000 plus years, all right, that he'd been up there, all right, because the scriptures tell you a day with the Lord is a thousand years and a thousand years is one day, all right, so the Lord been up there 2,000 years meditating on when he's going to come back down and fuck these devils up, all right, these these Edomites, all right, who did that to him, all right, and that particular generation is back on this earth, all right, the same thing with you Jakes who gave our Lord up, all right, you back on this earth too, everybody is on this earth. Right now, was uh, more than likely on the earth when Yahweh Shah was on the earth. All right, this this is that wicked, that wicked adulterous generation. All right, y'all forgive me if y'all see me looking um off. All right, uh, I'm out doing this, but I got my you know my son with me. All right, he's running and playing. My small children they running and playing, so I gotta make sure. All right, I'm watching them. It's getting a bit dark too, but yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, how was y'all coming back to uh, to devour shit, all right? Only people who going to be able to have a, a covering in that day from your how about smell shots wrath is the elect, all right? That's it, all right? The Lord coming to kill two-thirds of his people over here in the land of the north, all right? You know, uh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, all right? The Lord going to melt them, all right? Leave them over here with these Edomites to melt and burn, all right? As the scriptures say, they, uh, they, they, they eyes... Shall melt in their sockets and in their tongues shall melt in their mouth. All right, it's also another one, Isaiah, when they tell you man's faces shall be as flames. All right, another one in Ezekiel 22, when the Lord said he's going to gather them as they gather uh, silver and gold in the furnace to blow upon it. That's how he's going to do them and melt them. All right, all that's coming. All right, and it's coming through the ICBM missiles, all right? That's what the Lord is going gonna to use to bring that particular judgment, as well as the laser beams out of the chariots, all right, to, to uh, turn you people into red and brown dust, all right, you know. Let me read a little bit more, though. It say, um, so, verse 17, so shall ye know that I am the Lord, Yahweh, your God, dwelling in Zion and my holy mountain, then shall Jerusalem be holy. And there shall no strangers pass through her anymore, all right? Because it's in, that whole, in the Holy Land right now, all right? It's a bastard over there, all right? Ishmael, I mean, not Ishmael, Esau being uh, the Amalek, Amalekites. And then you got Ishmael, all right? You know what I'm saying? Fighting over that land, which it don't belong to neither one of them, all right? You know what I'm saying? Strangers are in our land, all right? And the Lord coming to burn them up out of that land, all right? So let me continue and say, and... It shall come to pass in that day that the mountains shall drop down new wine, and the hills shall flow with milk, and the rivers of Judah shall flow with waters, and a fountain shall come forth of the house of the Lord, and shall water the valley of Shittim. All right, basically that's the elect 
all right, being put back in that land and the law going forth out of Israel, all right, because the law ain't going forth out of Israel right now, all right. When Israel, the true Israelites, not Israelis, all right, the true Israelites, starting with the elect, the 144,000 government body of Israel, go back into that land, righteousness is going to be, all right, uh, implemented into the world, all right, you know. They're going to put the whole world under your how about some size vibration, all right, through, you know what I'm saying, rod and scepter, all right, because we're going to be busting these nations to shivers. All right, we're going we gonna to beat the law, statutes, and commandments into you, all right? It ain't like you just going to, we're going to sit down and, and negotiate and talk to you and collect the, collect the bargaining with you and tell you, if you do it this way, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. No, you're going to get told what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. And uh, when you go off and you don't get it right, you get your damn head cracked, all right? Until you get it right, all right? You're going to get beat into righteousness, all right? You're gonna be you. You other nations are gonna be walking, talking Israelite toy soldiers when we get done with your asses. All right, we're gonna be perfect little mimicking Israelites. All right, you're gonna you're gonna be like you know what I'm saying. We we make you to be. All right, you know what I mean. And I'm gonna have to close this up in a little bit. All right, uh, like I say, it's getting dark. Uh, I'm gonna have them come get get in the car here in a bit. But let me continue this out. Verse 19, it says, Egypt shall be a destination. The Egypt that it's speaking about is America, spiritual Sodom in Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. All right, you know, crossed out. Yahweh Shai is crossed out over here, and Caesarea was put up, Jesus. All right, and it's called spiritual Sodom uh, for the homosexuality. All right, that uh, is, is, is running rampant through this place. All right. In Egypt, for the horror, bondage, and slavery, which Yahweh Shemel Shai's people, the so-called Negro, Spanish, and Native Americans, the city their father was forced to slave, I mean, serve in, be slaves in, all right? So, uh, I say, Egypt shall be a desolation, all right? And Edom shall be a desolate wilderness, because uh, Edom is the daughter of uh, Babylon, America being mystery Babylon. Watch where you're going. Daddy. What? Can you push us? Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this right now. I'll be through in a minute. Oh, yeah. I'm not done, no. How many hours do you I don't have no hours. I got a couple more minutes, and then I'll be over there. Y'all forgive me. All right, they say uh, Edom shall be a desolate wilderness, all right? Because um, Edom and Egypt, in this particular case, go, I mean, uh, go, go hand in hand. Sodom and Egypt, all right, the same way Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed, all right, uh, this kingdom, which is ruled by the Edomites, is going to be destroyed, and Esau is going to be destroyed as well because... Hey, it was it was told to him. Um, he had no place of repentance. It's, it's told to him in Hebrews. All right, he ain't got no place of repentance though. He started carefully with tears. All right, Obadiah one and eighteen tell you about how all the Edomites are gonna get um, put into that pit and burned up, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. All right, that prophecy has not taken place yet. That's how we know the Edomites are on this earth and they're in rulership because the scriptures say the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges that rose not wearing it. Who is he? <clears throat> Esau did that. All right. And, um, you know, he's ruling. Isaiah 63, who is that coming from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? So when Yahweh Shah comes back, he's coming back to fight he, Esau first. All right. All the nations, but Esau especially. All right. Because Esau ultimately is the nation that was ruling when Yahweh Shah was on the scene. You know? They, they, it's called the Roman Empire, the Roman Empire, but it's really called the Roman Edomite Empire. All right, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that was uh, one of the seven kingdoms of Esau. All right, that was his last kingdom. Was it his last one? No, it wasn't his last one. Was it? Hold on, Spanish, French. No, but it was the uh, it was the second second kingdom, so like it, because the Roman Empire came after the Greek Greeks. So that was his second kingdom, all right? And the Roman Empire is back today, all right? You know what I'm saying? And in, in, in continuation, all right? We, we're back in the Roman Empire again today, all right? And Esau is still ruling, all right? And Yahweh Shai said, Behold, he coming with, the scriptures say, Behold, he coming with clouds, and every eye shall see him, even those that pierced him. So if that was over 2,000 years ago when that happened, and he coming back today, that proves reincarnation is in the Bible. That proves that Esau is still in rulership, still to this day, and that rule, and that proves that uh, them Edomites that did that should are gonna be on this earth. 
right now. All right, and that means if they're here and we're here, we were we were there then. All right. No. So let me continue it. Egypt shall be a desolation, and Edom shall be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of Judah, because they have shed innocent blood in their land. But Judah shall dwell forever in Jerusalem from generation to generation. For I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed, for the Lord dwelleth in Zion. All right, so again, Yahweh is coming back, all right, to uh, even to settle the score, so to speak. All right, fuck even. Lord coming back to settle the score, all right? You know what I'm saying? And that 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 uh ends with Israel as the victor, all right? Israel is gonna be the victor, all right? You know? Yeah, um again, this is gonna be a quick little sit down, all right. I had a camp lesson um uh, coming out real really, really soon, you know. Yeah, just give me I mean, I got out a bit late today, which is my my fault. But yeah, gonna do something. But um, that's pretty much a good stopping point, cause like I say, it's getting dark and I gotta tend to the daddy duties. All right, but that was just a quick little, you know, impromptu sit down. All right, just wanted to speak a little bit. All right, and um, you know, feed the sheep. All right, and Lord willing, it was edifying. All honor, glory, and praise go to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. We're teaching the course of and his truth. Peace and salutations to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, elected house of David. Kwame Asherala, Kwame Asherala, Wa Baba Ba, Shalom.